Hi, this is Cynthia Wright, um, or Mrs. Wright, your instructor for today. And thank you for joining me here. This is lesson one in nutrition, and we're going to cover fat soluble vitamins um, today. The four fat soluble vitamins that we're going to cover is vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, and vitamin K. And I'd like you to use the acronym ADIC uh, to remember it by, it makes it easier. The learning objectives for today are what are the functions of the fat soluble vitamins and what are examples of fresh food sources for the fat soluble vitamins. So I want you to think about this tonight because when you come back into class tomorrow we're going to have an open discussion group and then we're going to follow by a little fun quiz. The first fat soluble vitamin is vitamin A and vitamin A is really good for your vision um, and your eyes to keep good sight throughout your life. It also helps to protect and keep your skin healthy and along with that is it supports physical growth and actually physical growth from infancy or birth all the way throughout your life. And two really good main food sources are eggs, good old eggs that most of us just love and we cook a lot for breakfast, and oranges. In fact, any orange colored vegetable um, has significant amount of vitamin A. Vitamin D is next, a um, very important vitamin. It helps to absorb calcium. And we, of course, make vitamin D in our skin, but we have to have enough sun. And along with that, a really another um, important discovery that they made with vitamin D, that they found it's the most powerful vitamin to take down inflammation in the body. And most of our illnesses, chronic illnesses, have a root cause that is inflammatory based. And this really helps to improve it improve it. So you really need to take vitamin D again throughout your entire life. Extremely important. Along with that, vitamin D with helping to absorb calcium helps to strengthen our bones and our teeth. And two main food sources again are eggs and milk or dairy products. Vitamin E um, functions for vitamin E is it's a powerful antioxidant and especially for the heart and I have that listed here is that it really supports the heart muscle and it gives it more oxygen so then it's going to beat better with more smoother contractions and also really important to support our immune system and keep us from getting sick and primary food sources are dark green leafy vegetables like spinach and lastly, the last vitamin we're going to cover today is vitamin K. Vitamin K, the only and major uh, function of vitamin K is for blood clotting. And we give it to newborns to prevent them from bleeding or hemorrhaging um, when they're born. And so vitamin K is extremely important um, to take, to take to keep our blood from becoming too thin. And primary food source again is green leafy vegetables. And so that is our brief and short lesson today. I hope you had a lot of fun and I look forward to reviewing this and talking about it tomorrow. Have a great evening.